Jeff's here. We're gonna see him. Hello vlog, we are back with a jam-packed week. Let's get into it. My dad came to visit and the very first thing we got to check off the list was the mascleta for Fias in Valencia. I got to show him all around Valencia um, and show him all the amazing sights and all my favorite restaurants and of course eat some Valencian paella. Even being here for one day, I was quick to observe culture shock that my dad was experiencing in terms of proximal zones between people and just the mass amounts of people in one place at one time. After a few days in Valencia, we got on a bus and we made our way to Barcelona. We got an Airbnb in the Gothic Quarter right in the center of such an amazing part of town and it was beautiful. As soon as we got here, we did not waste any time. We got right to exploring. Barcelona is jam-packed with so much culture and so much amazing architecture and so many people. The metros were like you were about to kiss the people next to you. I definitely attribute a lot of the public transportation skills I gained in Valencia to my success in Barcelona. I don't think that I would have done as well if I didn't already have so much experience with it in Valencia. We went to Casa Voltio, one of the gaudy houses. We saw La Sagrada Familia, and we went all around the city. One feature in Barcelona I noticed almost immediately is how intercultural and multilingual the city is. Everywhere we went, I heard people speaking English, French, Italian, Spanish, Russian, Japanese, and languages I had never even heard before. On Sunday, the day we'd all been waiting for, especially my father, finally arrived. We went to Camp Now, which has been a lifelong dream of his since he was a child. Beautiful. <laughs> it was so fulfilling being able to do something like this with him and we had such a good time. Coming from somewhere where sweats at the grocery store is a completely normal thing to do, uh, my dad definitely felt the eyes on him while he was here. He's definitely an outdoorsman and has a bit of a rugged look to him. And while he's not one to be affected at all by outside judgment, he did want to just fit in a little bit. He got some new pants, he got a new jacket, and he went to the barber shop. My dad, everyone has been calling him Santa, and like we've been joking about it because his beard is so grown out. But he, <laughs> I think it was his last straw last night when a man like across two restaurants, like serving, trying to get his attention, was like, "You look like God," and I think that was his last straw. So. He's at the barbershop. I'm going to go meet him at the barbershop so I can go get food. I found him. Let's see. There he is. <laughs> yeah, reveal. Yeah. Reveal. Queen. Queen. Mira. Mira. <laughs> no, it's a mirror. Uh, no, that's Mira. a spejo. <laughs> It was kind of fun that in five days I converted him into a bit of a European guy. On our last full day in Barcelona, we hit up the market for some last few essentials, but they took his jamón at the airport, which I feel it was quite unfortunate. We had a picnic at the Carmel Bunkers, where you can see an entire 360 of the city. And the next morning, bright and early, I called him a taxi and he went on his way. Queen just missed her bus, so I got a train ticket. I missed my bus, but I was very fortunate to find a train that was leaving a few hours later back to Valencia. I was able to make it to class that day, and the very next day we went on our group excursion to the Fias Museum where all of the pardon notes are kept um, from many Fias past. 
It was fascinating and quite artistically impressive to see all of the societal and political trends captured in a glimpse of just one knee note pardoned from the burning each year. That same night, I was off to my next adventure. Fit check before I leave for the taxi. <laughs> okay, bye. Well, my bus is running late. Now the tables have turned. Making it to Barcelona at 5.45 was very critical because I needed to get on a ski bus by 6.30. I was very grateful to make my ski bus on time in Barcelona and made my way up to Masaya to go snowboarding. In the morning, it was quite windy and quite raining, but I knew I signed up for spring skiing conditions, so I was definitely just glad to be there and had such a great time. I felt so spoiled by my Spanish picnic. I had Valencian oranges, jamón and brie bocadillo, chocolate croissants. It was amazing. Going backwards on their butt. Um, I found a cave. I thought I needed to follow those off beaten footsteps instead of just snowboarding to ride here. <sighs> so I hiked this like steep off beaten trail right above the actual run. A little silly, broke sweat, almost fell a few times. It's a little treacherous. It was like all the way up, but this is the cave. I now have a lot of skiing related Spanish vocabulary under my belt and honestly this whole last week my communication abilities just rapidly accelerated having to talk to so many people so many different places. What better way to end the day than a rainbow at the top of the slopes. This past week will forever hold a special place in my heart. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!